Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the third episode of The Corrupted. I will toss it over to Navar to uh, throw us back into all of the problems. Yes, all of the problems. Yes, uh, welcome back for the finale of this series. Uh, last we left off, our team split up. They spent some time getting to know some of the uh, locals at the Baron Corporation. Um, they became uh, incredibly close friends with one lovable Tucker, uh, who is a guard, and uh, offered them booze and taught them where all the food is. Um, they were also introduced to a uh what's the best word to say this uh, a very i don't think it's like because a charismatic might not be the right word but essentially this very boisterous that's the word i was looking for a they were also introduced to a very boisterous um cowboy looking figure named cowboy who uh, came with an entourage and happened to be a locally famous corrupted catcher um who was living high on the hog from all of the work that he brought in for Baron Corporation. And yeah, as they were trying to decide what they were going to do, uh, the team uh, were introduced as well to a doctor. Um, and he offered to give them a tour to see if our team would like to find out more about what it would be like to work for Baron Corporation. And everything seemed to be going fine at first. Uh, our team of Elaine and Siobhan went through the building to kind of get to see the sights. And then as uh, the doctor entered a locked and secured area to show them some of the experience, experiments they've been working on, uh, they realized just how out of touch with reality this doctor was as uh, things were bad and he seemed rather excited about it. We saw a a squid behind a wall, what, what, what we might call a squid, this corrupted that has extended its, its uh, like, my God, my brain is failing so hard today. Uh, it is extending its prehensile pseudo arms that are attaching onto these to the glass and it's pressing so hard that it's covering basically the entire glass it looks almost like a sheet of black liquid um there is another corrupted that is slamming itself against the wall and as our team turns and takes in all of these sights and our doctor gets excited about all of the prospects of what these all could be the the squid presses itself so far against the glass that the glass starts to shatter. And from the other side of the door, we see one Dr. Emerson who was acting a little bit squirrely throughout the story, and she is pressing a button, and we hear doors start to open. People start to scream, and our team is in trouble. But before we join Elaine and Siobhan, we are going to jump back over to Sabrina and Mina. And you are just having a quiet evening at home. I know that we, I believe we left off and there was um, quite a bit of tension between the two of you uh, and a little bit of stress. But what, what are you guys, just remind me, what are we doing uh, right now? Uh, Mina had a decent amount to drink between Tucker Slask and Cowboy passing us a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. So I think that her plan is to just sort of go back to the beds they've been assigned for the night and take a nap. Yeah. Wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I remember that I had asked, um, I had made a deal uh, with, with my wife saying that I would try to one more time to convince the rangers basically um to come with us however one ranger is gone and that was the one that i actually wanted to talk to um and now i'm left with the drunken mess so um i think sabrina is trying to think if she really should even make the effort right now solely because um uh, uh oh, i'm blanking on your name real quick mina is um not exactly sober right now 
and maybe sleeping it off is the better idea, like the better option. So that is what Sabrina is doing, thinking. Yeah, and maybe as you're thinking, you hear a knock on the door. Okay, um, I will, I'll get up. Um, but I'm, I'm very distrustworthy of this place. So, um, I think I was sitting like at, at my bed. I have like my, my ha- handgun under my pillow. So I'll take that out and just have it on me. So, yeah. and I'll open the door like partially, not even halfway. I want to say one third. Um, okay. Actually. Yeah. In, in true Western fashion, you see a short figure in a cowboy hat, uh, <laughs> red lipstick on their lips leaning against the wall hat tipped down you can't see their eyes and cowboy looks up at you and uh says but and you know it's been a while since we played this game so if, if the accent has changed y'all just you're gonna have to go with it um but yeah and they say yeah well howdy i uh i just wanted to come in and see how y'all are doing um hi uh well uh two of us have gone on a tour uh and the other one is taking a drunken nap Aha, i see enjoying enjoying all everything that baron corporation has to offer y'all thinking about becoming lifers then Mm. taking tours now um my my wife wanted to take a, a tour she's um uh well she was no she still is it's more like she was before th- things went to shit um like a, a veterinarian so um you know if we if we can we prefer to not hunt Things that can are that are actively stronger than us that can kill us. Like you, you, you understand. You're like five two. I'm five two. It's uh, difficult. I'm sorry. I am definitely five six. Last time I measured, and I don't appreciate that. But I, I will say, Why are we you're missing out. Quiet? You are missing out. <laughs> I promise you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but either way, I know things can be a little bit weird um and i just wanted to give you this one parting gift i you know i liked you especially you know the strong one um she looked nice so i just wanted to give come and give you all some whiskey uh, she here by the way or also on the tour um and her, uh, okay, her, her okay, okay, girlfriend okay. is is uh, taking a nap hey i know i just i just uh, just in case Hey. Just in case. Right. And you see, like, Cowboy, because uh, this is an audio format, uh, puts his his arms up and says, oh, okay. Um, well, hey, no harm, no foul. I just thought I'd check. Uh, and I think as they say that, you hear the sound of a, like, a klaxon alarm. Like, the sound as if everything is going the absolute worst it can go. Um, and it starts in the building. And it's loud, especially for, like, not ever hearing an alarm for the past five years um, of any kind, especially this loud of an alarm. Uh, and and you can start to see people rushing by. And the sort of like swaggering uh, figure of Cowboy becomes very serious. What's um, that? What is that? that? What? Well, that's, that's never happened before, but I... I was warned about this. This means that something happened inside the building. What happened inside the building? Some, uh, something ain't good happened inside the building. You might want to wake your friend up. Yeah. If, you, if, you're, <laughs> if your partner's in there, that's uh, that's bad news. You mean the facility? The facility that they wanted to take a tour on? The facility that probably has all the fucking corrupted that you've all been right. taking in? See, the thing that down. I said that would yep. happen? Mina, wake the fuck up, because the <laughs> thing that I said that would happen, happened? 
Yeah, and Mina, you hear your Sabrina <laughs> screaming. <laughs> yeah, I think that Mina sort of stumbles out of bed, legs tangled in the sheet, which they just sort of wrap around their shoulders. Uh, and she says, oh, What's happening? Did you, did you manifest something? What? And you can hear now as you're awake this uh, alarm as well playing through. Is it wake up time already? Where's Elaine? Something's happening in the facility they went to take a tour in. Something bad. Right, cowboy? And you I see cowboy has... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cowboy has pulled out their revolver. Um, they actually have two, because why not? Uh, and uh, and they say, uh, look, I'll I'll go with you. I'll see what's going on. I, my my, uh, my crew is in there as well, so uh, we can go check it out. And start. They start moving in that direction. I'm gonna make sure I grab my things. I think, once again, the level of me not wanting to be here means I did not get comfortable. Mm-hmm. The most comfortable I did was take a shower. Um, <laughs> yeah. Even then, I think I put all my stuff back where it belongs. So I'm just gonna grab my bag, which probably has my things the way they're supposed to be, minus whatever is inside our car. Um, and and I'm gonna go, and Mina kind of has that five minutes of, not even, like two minutes of me dropping my shit and going yeah. to to join us. Because the minute I'm gone, I'm gone. That's my wife in there. Yeah. What do you, what do you think Mina grabs, Alyssa? Uh, I think that she had started to unpack sort of clothes and stuff, but the rifle and all her, like, medical bandages and stuff are still in her backpack, which she's able to just sort of slip on and follow Cowboy yeah. and Sabrina. Okay. Yeah. And the three of you run in back towards the entrance, back towards like the main entrance where you had gone in to go um, to like the mess hall. And as you pull up to the door, uh, you see Cowboy reach for it and try to open it. And it is locked. And it's, uh, you can see like a another guard runs up and basically like posts up against the wall as if to plan for if anything opens up the door and he says to you you can get in in this way this whole facility shuts down once this alarm goes off and you can see cowboy kind of turn and look around and they're like looking around the building and they as they're turning they see their semi that's backed up and they say maybe let's try this way and uh, they start running that direction as well. Um, if you guys, do you guys continue to follow? Cowboy? Yeah. yeah. So as you, yeah. So you start to get towards the semi and the semi is still, it sounds like there's, um, it sounds as if there is, uh, you can start to hear sounds coming from inside the building. The truck is off. Um, and as you get closer, cowboy starts to slow down and he's like this doesn't make any sense this fucking generator is supposed to stay on uh but there is an opening between like the docking bay and and uh the truck and you can slip in through this side there to get into the building uh it is a little bit of a jump um so this will be our first roll of the night for you too so i'm gonna have you do agility athletics to sort of jump up there and and pull yourself in Mm. <laughs> 15 <laughs> for me. What, a 15? Um, okay, take my stress, please. Okay, I have a question because it's been a while. <laughs> yes. What happens if you have a zero in um, an ability modifier? If if you didn't put any number in there, then it's a negative two. Ah, oh, thank you. And... <laughs> um. You said athletics as well, right? Mm-hmm. I thought that was uh, the negative two was no, for no, no. skills. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. one ability modifier that will yes. be a zero. A zero, yeah. Ability will be zero. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. Okay. Yes. So if I'm it's a skill know. and you left it blank, then it's going to be a negative two. Well, you know, I have two zeros in ability modifiers. That's just because I'm real good everywhere else. Where I'm real decent. <laughs> yeah. I just don't do this shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so zero, and then what's your athletics? My athletics, I at least have a one in. Okay, so you get a um, plus one to this roll. <laughs> 14. 
14 um, okay because that's not bad but uh, <laughs> but also <laughs> i'm not doing myself any favors yeah this part. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's a partial success for both of you. So, uh, uh, both of you take one stress. Um, you see Cowboy runs and just kind of maybe seeming used to this, jumps up and clears it pretty easily. Um, and then I think, uh, who's got a higher athletic score? What's yours, Alyssa? Five. Five. Okay. So, yeah, so I think then Mina gets there first. And as you're trying to get through, you're just having a hard time. And so... Do, do you think Sabrina helps in this way to get Mina pushed through and lift it up? No, it's me that ha- that's having the issue. Sabrina's having the issue. You both partially success. Oh, we both partially success. Okay, yeah. well then, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mina's having yeah. trouble. I'll so, push, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you push, and then I think, you know, Mina turns around and helps and helps Sabrina up. And as you're getting pulled up, you realize that Cowboy has stopped running because they are looking at the semi. Um and, and it's got an open back and you can see like it goes halfway through and then there's this door um, and he's like feeling the air and there's just this massive concern. He's like that, that it's, it's supposed to be real hot right here. That generator's not supposed to be off. And as all of you are talking or as cowboys talking rather and all of you are climbing through and trying to pull through and and maybe moving the semi a little bit you hear the sound of a cascading um uh face of just whale after whale after whale after whale and you see this frame in the back this you know pseudo wall that's there start to get pushed and crack and splinter and something seems to be coming out uh, from there. But we are going to jump now over to Elaine and Siobhan. Um, the glass is broken. Uh-huh. The alarm has been set. Uh-huh. You see not only this creature that is um, basically just a mass of corruption writhing around. You can barely even see what was once this human frame. It's just this writhing mass of tendrils flapping around and pulling in every direction and trying to reach for you. Uh, the the one that it was slamming against the window um, hits the window. The doors unlock and pop open, and it looks, it sniffs, it screams, and it starts to bolt for the door, which is leading directly to you. You see that there is another door that opens that has a very, very thin uh, corrupted in it that walks out. And it almost is as if it's wearing like a mask, like as if its entire face is covered in a beanie, like a long beanie that was just pulled all the way over and tight to its face with this liquid oily texture to it. Um, And as it sees you, it screams and its head springs out in these tendrils um, that just like flame out. And then you see another door open and this one has a corrupted that jumps, grips onto the to the door frame, to the top of the door frame and pulls itself up and swings and then pushes its feet off the wall and jumps out at you. It's chaos. There are more doors opening what do you do? Run. Yeah, Run. running. Run. Running. 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 Okay. running. So, um, this is going to be vitality athletics for both of you. I think just the, the situation um, is more about just survival, uh, <laughs> bodily survival in this moment. Mm-hmm. It is it, it's like... I, 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 at this point, fuck any Hippocratic oath I have ever made. If yeah. there's a fucking scientist, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vitality Athletics. Whoa, I rolled really good. Uh, that's going to be a 26. I also rolled really good, and that is a 19 for me. Okay, so yes. uh, Ferris, yeah, you reduce your stress by one. Um, and yeah, I think you're first to just be like, nope. 
and you take off through the door. Um, you you book it through the door and you're back into this room that has like all the control consoles and everything and all of these uh, scientists are freaking out and they're trying to like type in whatever they can to get this thing locked back down Um, and you turn and you see that the one that had gripped onto the door frame and pushed itself off jumps and hits the doctor that was giving you the tour uh, and grips onto him and the the corrupted that was just this mass of tendrils grips around his head as well um uh Devon runs through right after you and pulls herself through but you can see that the uh the one that was slamming against the window uh, who we'll just call a juggernaut for now is um jumps over the other two and is running in your direction as well um, and there's too much stuff going on to see where the fourth one is uh, or any other subsequent uh, corrupted. Uh, but you start to run. You get into basically past the scientists and you can hear them start to scream as things are going terribly. Um, and you're back in the hallway. And I need you to do an intellect uh, survival to see if you can remember which direction to go to get out of here. Six. Eighteen. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's a fail. That's going to be two stress. Um, yeah. Let me know if you hit four, eight, 12, 16, or 20. Uh, because that, even though we're not in role play, there's still the conditions that you'll take on that will go into effect immediately. Yeah. I've been um, past the four this whole yeah. time. I went past mm-hmm. four last time. So yeah. I just have not gone back under it. Yeah. <laughs> so you at seven now then? Mm, nope, I'm at six because six, I okay. subtracted one, yeah. then bumped it up two. Gotcha. Um, okay, so yeah, so you get into the hallway and you start looking around, and I think like Javon runs through and run and runs into you, and starts pulling you in direction, um, just left back down the hallway, and you can hear the footsteps of of the one that's chasing you getting closer. Mm-hmm. Is there As, any is is there anything in these halls or any shelving anything tables because if especially if I pass a very large shelf I want to yeah. turn around and just throw it and just throw it okay yeah, yeah. just to uh, put anything between us and them sure yeah give me a d20 roll this is just going to be a luck roll um okay. so 11 or higher and we'll find something for you 13 13. Okay, so yeah, as you're running through, you can see that there's like this filing cabinet um, on a dolly that is Mm -hmm. sort of against a wall as you're running past um, that you can knock over. And so just in the midst of doing this while running and staying ahead, I'm going to have you do another, um, this will be a agility athletics because it's kind of like a moving as you're moving and going um you can also see as you start to turn back that these things are gaining on you it's it's the one that is like this um the juggernaut and then there's this other one that when it screamed it's all the tendrils sprung out of its head um and it takes these creepy little pattering footsteps uh, these very short steps but it is for some reason moving very very fast in your direction can I try to, um, like, shoot them to slow them down while she's knocking that. over the filing cabinet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. So go ahead, and you're using shotgun. So that's going to okay. be long rifle and uh, agility. Deck. I got a 15 to topple a filing cabinet. Okay. Literally, I rolled low, but that's like two of my best skills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Also 15. Okay. Um, so the, the for shooting, it's going to be partial success. So do me a favor and roll damage, and it's going to take half, and then roll wasted bullets as well. Uh, I find that page. Um, and... Ooh, I rolled an eight on damage. Okay. And a one on wasted bullets. Awesome. Um, that is fantastic. Uh, 
Okay. So yeah, so you just turn back and shoot this one shot, and I think it just takes out like an entire arm and shoulder uh, of this thing, and it sort of rolls to the side and scrambles on the one hand and the and its feet, and still continues after you. And I think the one that like doing these little pitter patter steps reaches the um, the filing cabinet and trips, but as it's falling, it is going to reach out. Um, and it is going to attack um, Devon as you tripped it. So it is going to use a grapple. Um, so it, it basically it, it this tendril shoots out from its head and wraps around your leg, and you. Um, you are stopped there. You're tripped up. Uh, it is back to the two of you, um, and you are compromised because you're grappled. Uh, so you basically you have to get out of the compromised position. And so for the listeners, I'll read what that means. Um, let me give it to my page. This is like. All right, so once you're in a compromised state, you and the other PCs must do everything you can to get out of it. Um, So either helping each other or helping yourself. Um, It's always like whatever you're going to do narratively, and then we'll figure out how we're going to roll for it. Uh, But while compromised, your roles specifically change, and they have different set of uh, circumstances that can happen. Uh, It's going to be... A lot of it will be very similar, but so there are some other things that can happen as well. Um, So yeah, you've been grappled... um, Maybe not necessarily tripped yet, but it does have uh, its tendril around your leg. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I am going to reach for the like the hatchet that's on my belt, and I'm just going to try to hit it while okay. uh, I hope Elaine gives me cover. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I think in this situation, um, it is going to be a judgment uh, melee weapons role and I'm using judgment I think just because of the situation of trying to get this thing Mm. off of you try not to damage your own leg or damage your hatchet as well Mm. a 19 okay that is a success Mm. yeah so you slam down and you are able to chop this tendril off um, and and get back to running. Uh, you can see um, that the other is starting to close in. And um, Elaine, it is your turn. Uh, yeah, I think um, Elaine is going to fire one more shot to try to keep keep a little more distance um, okay. so that Shalon can recover long enough to for us to run again <laughs> yeah yeah uh okay so go ahead and do agility long rifles for this and we'll just say you're shooting at the same same one the juggernaut okay oh no um uh, this is gonna be a nine i'm pretty sure hold on let me double check yeah just a nine okay Yep, that is a fail. So yeah, you. So please roll wasted bullets. Uh, see how many shots you shoot at it that don't hit. Um, Three. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're shooting at this thing, and it's like it seems like even though it just lost a massive chunk of its body, it doesn't seem to have slowed it down, and it is like jumping to the side and dodging and trying it desperately to to reach and grab for you. Um, and you still have a long bit of hallway to go. Uh, I think that there is, that, is certainly. Go ahead. Oh, uh, just is that one stress or two stress? A four. A fail is two stress. Then I would be at eight. Eight. Amazing. Uh, so sorry for being so excited about that. Um, no, no, I understand completely. <laughs> so yeah. So each conflict level, um, just to reiterate, is going to have its own condition. So when you reach conflict level two, it does have its own question, but we'll come back to that if we get to a role play after this, assuming everybody lives for that, if you know what I mean, wink, wink. Um, but, but immediately what you must do is overcompensate. So 
you roll to complete a single action, whatever the degree of success the roll is, uh, is reduced to the next lowest. So a success becomes a partial. Um, so yeah, you are going to overcompensate uh, immediately. So you need to take another attack and hope that you crit, basically. I did get a 19. <laughs> Okay, so that makes it a partial success. So take Ooh. another, yeah. So um, that's still, that's another point of stress. You're going to still roll damage and you are going to um, still roll wasted bullets as well. Uh, that is a, mm, I'm sure that's a six. Let me double check, hold on. Are we rolling no, a D10? It's a nine. Damage? Sweet. It's a nine. Yes, it's okay. a D10 because I have four in my thing, and that was a four. that's all of my bullets gone though. It's a nine okay. damage, no more bullets. Yeah, but that looks like overcompensation. You you take those three shots that miss, and it's just like fuck it, and just continue. And this so is how you I play hit... the last of us too, so this is accurate. <laughs> it's dead fair. Yeah, so I think in this hallway that was not designed for guns to be shot, this echoing loud shots are ringing against both of you um the bullets go out and you hit this thing another um how many that you had left you had what four bullets left six bullets left so yeah you can you hit it again and uh multiple times and it is still like crawling towards you um desperately trying to get at you actually quick question on the bullets um the wasted bullets do the shots taken also count as wasted bullets? Like, when you shoot, is that minus one bullet, and then wasted bullets are additional? Mm. No, 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 no. So basically, it's like you're, you roll damage, and then how many bullets you use to get that number of damage. And I have one bullet left. So okay. I double counted no. the first time. <laughs> no worries. Make it uh, count. Yes, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, and it is now the, the other... You just turned so uh let's see i believe we had a fail uh in that one so that gives me um yeah so i think the what happens next is as you're turned and you take the time to do all of these shots the two of them start to move towards you and so the little pitter patter <laughs> uh i've been calling saiyan squid in my head canon because it just does like the super saiyan power up um <laughs> it runs towards you and swings and is going to hit you. Uh, the other one gets close as well as it drags its body with like basically an arm and a knee uh, uh, as well. And it's like at your feet, but this one runs up and gets right in your face and hits you. Um, it is back to your two turns and we'll just go back to uh, Siobhan uh, first. Um, seeing that, uh, is it, it, and it is, this, this other thing is directly right up in our faces. Yes. Uh, you know, just seeing this, I'm going to take a swing with this hatchet. Okay. Just to, like, try and get by us a moment to start moving. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so you go ahead and do brawn, uh, melee weapons for this. Please, and you guys, can, don't fuck now me. That we're, like, you're, now that you, this is... Mm-hmm starting out as your focus, you also can take another uh, swing as well after this. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that is a... 17. Okay, success. Um, yeah, so go ahead and roll damage on that. No wasted bullets, because it's a uh, oh. hatchet, but... Yep. Uh, what is the... What is the damage for that? What's your um, what's your stat number? Uh, I have a plus three for melee weapons. That's gonna be a D eight. All of that larping. <laughs> uh, I mean that's a, that's a seven. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. I think you you hack into it, and I think you hit like its collarbone, and you go pretty deep with the hatchet, and it. Uh, 
it it looks like it takes a pretty decent hit from that and you can see like the blood that it's been pumping through this body uh is starting to to come out and it's and it's having a hard time uh but it's still flailing around and you can feel like a tendril like brush up against your face um and elaine you're right there do you want to take another swing or do you want to move what would you like to do um, yeah, it's kind of that swing, hit it, it's injured. I'm going to take several steps back, start trying to run again. Okay. It's, it, it is of the, the they're putting, keeping distance between us. Um, you know, I ideally maybe move towards like grabbing my like crossbow or something or my gun just to try to hit it from a distance. Yeah. I don't want to um, stay in melee range. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. So you you move out of the way. Um, Elaine, you're still right there. What what's your plan? Um, I think that um I have I have one shot left, and I don't mm. think that at this range with this amount of time that she would have the opportunity to like switch from shotgun to um, axe. So Plus, I mean, shotguns are to close range anyway, so she's gonna give it one last uh, go and hope that's enough to cover our escape. Okay, yeah, let's have that roll. Fifteen. Okay, partial success, take another stress. Uh, yeah, so this one will just be damage. We know it's your last bullet, so... Five. Okay. Uh, which one are you shooting at? Also? Um, I guess uh, probably just whichever one is the closest. The, but I the, mean, like, the, there's like one. The, so there's the one that you've been shooting at, the juggernaut that's at your yeah. feet, and it's got basically one working full arm and uh, one like down to like half calf. Or it's like using that one leg to get going. I would but it's, yeah. the other one because that one's big and scary, <laughs> and I just my brain just keeps seeing the demogorgon whenever Ooh, you're yeah. describing this. I'm just picturing like a, like a Cartoon Network mom in like those pencil skirts with the tiny feet just <laughs> scuttling down the hallway after us with like tentacle yeah. face. That's yeah. it's it's a very that, scary image. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That, that is even a better image. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, um, and you know how they have the little, uh, like, xylophone sound effects for the feet when they do that? Anyway. <laughs> um, I think it's probably gonna... If the Juggernaut is the one that's up close, um, probably going to try to... Sh- um, probably gonna, gonna try to shoot the leg. The yeah. last leg. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you could just do it in the face. It's, yeah, just it's hit right it in the face, do that. Yeah. It's probably on the ground. Probably go for the legs. <laughs> it's already on the ground. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. Well, we'll see what I get. <laughs> we'll see what We'll happens. see what five <laughs> damage does. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, I think you aim down and you shoot and you hit, like, the full back of its thigh. And at this point, this thing has lost so much blood. And, um, and it reaches out one more time and just sort of wilts to the floor. This other one is still in your face. Um, the, the Saiyan squid. So, um, you can... Also, yeah, move, try to fight hand to hand, whatever you're going to do. Oh, definitely just big backwards running steps until we can turn around and hopefully at least holster the the shotgun so that next time around she can pull out her close range. Yeah. Um, yeah, you take off. And I think as you are starting to run, you guys have made it a pretty decent leg down the hallway. Uh, but you you look back and you can see that the um like sort of this like mega squid starts to pull itself through the hall the body still like basically like almost as if it's being held up uh by these tentacles these tendrils um as the legs sort of just drag underneath this mass of of tendrils and you can see that there are also two scientists in like being drug along as well that have basically their entire faces covered uh these tendrils pulling them by their heads and just dragging them behind as they are converting them into corrupted um we are gonna go back over to mina and sabrina oh so yeah so you you start to see this wall come down and you are 
looking at the way that this truck is constructed and you can see like in the back that was already visible there do appear to be like these ropes and ties and chains and whatever else they're using to hold down um, these corrupted uh, but when you were questioning Cowboy or when the team was questioning Cowboy there was there was some truth given uh, but there's also some truth being withheld and that truth is that they also had another way in which they caught corrupted and as this wall falls down you can briefly see for a second that second way as there is this large bar of iron in the center of the truck and there appears to be these um almost like furnace vents that they were using to keep that part of the truck extremely hot but the generator's off and it's not hot anymore and these things are busting down the wall and they're running in your direction um you have this moment to decide do you run in to try and get to your partners or do you try to squeeze back through the hole to get out of here cowboy immediately guns out <laughs> they're shooting i have a thing i have a thing, yes. I have a thing. Mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. now one of my additional skills is planning yes and i know this is happening right now but as yeah. we all know Sabrina is never wrong. And so I would like to argue that I can formulate a plan right here at this very moment to know what to do next. And I will give you what I do next so long as I could maybe use my planning skill to help me. As a Sherlock stan, I I will go for this Mm -hmm. immaculate conception of a plan. Um, So let's do then... We're going to say it's judgment because it's decision-making time. Uh, Mm -hmm. Judgment and planning. Okay. Should I say what I want to do first and then make the roll? Why don't... mm, Yeah, say what you want to do. Yeah, what your plan is. And then let's see how how we translate that via the dice. Okay, so for me, um, once again, uh, just just so that way I have this area correct, we have just... We squeezed through the hole, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cowboy is is ready to take is 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 ready is is basically yep. going to charge at him, uh, and there is a generator. Yeah. Um, where is the generator again? I'm sorry. The generator is outside the truck. It's just something that should have been on that Cowboy notice is not on right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And where are the corrupted that are running in? Basically, straight in front of you. So if you were like. Uh, I take for granted that I used to work in construction and like dealt with docking bays all the time. But like if you're in a docking bay, right, or like you have this big garage opening, the truck fits the entire back of the opening of the truck into it. That space is what the space you're looking down. There's space behind you, obviously, into the building. Uh, but you're looking down that space at the corrupted as they have just broken down another like partition, essentially, um, and are rushing in your direction. Okay. Um, they're rushing in our direction of, um, like roughly how, how, how close is the generator to us and how far would the corrupted be to the generator? Mm. Uh, again, the generator is outside of the truck. Uh, but Mm -hmm. I would say the generator is probably like 40 feet outside the truck and on top. And then the, uh, corrupted are like 25, 30 feet to you. Okay. Um, now hear me out. <laughs> Using judgment and planning, not any other skill that would make 100% more sense to use. Okay? Mm-hmm. Judgment and planning only. Would you let me mute to the generator to turn it on and then duct tape because I have duct tape uh, uh, the side out when I get out so that way it's like I put in one closed box in and then objectively I can get back out and round the other way and close it again with duct tape I'm gonna duct tape them in Canadian style <laughs> um what's what is Sabrina's judgment 
My judgment is a four. A four. And I would my say, planet is a five. Okay. I would say that you, without making your roll yet, just based on, like, the score, the idea of basically getting out the hole you just came in and then climbing up to the top of a semi, which is r- roughly 12 feet high, and then turning on a generator, the the wall that was enclosing all of that heat is gone. That's the wall they broke through. So um, even if you got it on, which I think would still take a lot of time, it wouldn't make a difference at this point. They'd but reach you about, before that. What about closing, the, what about sealing them in the semi? Uh, there are, hmm, there are at least 10 breaking through the wall that's collapsing down, which you've seen over the past five years that are, they have supernatural strength with just one of them. There's no way you're stopping that wall from coming down. All right, how about this? You can roll judgment planning, and based on your roll, I will give you a different plan that you okay, could use. That, okay, I'll take that too. I'll take that too, because I was about okay. to start bullshitting other ideas. <laughs> yeah. I was about to start using cultural references on you, but like <laughs> ones where they were, it made no sense, but it totally could have been done, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And also ones where you've just been like, ah, that's kind of racist to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Those are other ones um, that, that would have been that would have been available. I'm just letting you yeah. know what you've missed out on. Mm-hmm. Um, but I got a 23. Even, even, mind you, listener, with the fucking phone app. Um, okay. Well, I also have very high modifiers in this. I'm rolling judgment and planning. That's a plus nine already. Yeah. Um, you okay I think the plan that you think of is that you can make it you quickly look back you can see that there's a door uh, that opens in towards the room you're in Um, you see that cowboy is prepped to stand and shoot in this moment Uh, so I think the plan that you think is you can grab Mina run to that door and get through it and close it before they can get there and at least because it doesn't open in your direction it'll take time for them to get in as well I'd say in this moment that's probably the best case scenario for getting out of the situation I have one more okay. one more one more suggestion mm-hmm. could we shoot the generator like let them get close enough and shoot it and make the explosion it's so I'm sorry that I'm not describing this very well. You're you're looking through a box, outside of the box and on top of the box where you can't see is where the generator is. Oh, I see, I see, I see, yeah. I see. Okay, it was out in the mirror. I thought this yeah, one yeah. was like in. I'm just like, if, it, if I can just like loop the loop. Yeah, I no, can, yeah, I shoot the gas tank, I get it, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, but it's it's not visible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I really don't want to leave Cowboy to do, to, to die though, even though they're a little weird, it just feels like it would be such a dickish thing to do, and I'm not, I'm not, you yeah. so, you can, um, you can certainly, yeah, bring them along as well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> then I think what'll happen is, um, I'm a point, like, I'm gonna look to Mina, point to where they need to go, and, uh, then I will just grab Cowboy by the collar and pull him along, but I'll let them still shoot. It's just, I'm moving <laughs> them. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so you, I'm gonna have you roll, uh, Empathy Persuasion to try to get Cowboy moving with you. Uh, what's, uh, <laughs> you, Mina, you see this, and... You, you see the door that she's indicated um, and everything else that I've described. Uh, do you go for the door? Yeah, no. I mean, Mina wasn't really going to wait for the plan regardless. <laughs> she wanted to go after yeah, 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 yeah. her girlfriend. Uh, so, yeah, Mina is going to dash through the door and try and listen, like, assuming, like, if there's an area, a direction where there are, like, particularly loud screaming screams coming from, maybe, okay. probably that's where Elaine is. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, as you're rushing that way, I have two questions. Uh, well, maybe one question. Do, do you once you get to the door, do you intend to hold it open and wait for Sabrina and Cowboy to come through? 
I will not wait. I do not intend to wait, but I also don't like lock it behind me or anything. Okay. So then I am going to have you roll a, I think agility athletics, just to see how quickly you can get there and through the door. Eighteen. Okay, a success. So yeah, you take off as soon as you see it, um, and you go through it, and and the door closes behind you, and you start to listen. Uh, what did you roll, Aki, on your persuasion? Twenty. A twenty. <laughs> Uh, yeah, do you feel um, Cowboy, who is the same height as you, uh, pulling uh, backwards, and they you can hear the rounds shooting as they are being pulled in your direction? Uh, but you do get to the door, and the door is closed. Like the door is closed? Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. You can get through it, but you can see, like, as you're starting to open it, these things are coming in quick. Um, do you continue to hold on to Cowboy to try to get them through, or you just go in yourself and, and let him do it on his own? I think I will just say there's bigger bitches on the inside. Don't waste your time with the small ones. And I'll open the fucking door and yeet in. Whether or not they come afterwards is yeah. their own issue, but I will close the door. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you run to the door and get inside, and you can hear the, the gunshots. Um, you hear the sound of after the door closes, you hear a slam, uh, against the door and you hear three more shots um, and uh, like a, the grunt of pain um, you hear another shot and then the door starts to open again and uh, cowboy uh, one gun left is holding on to the back of their head um, and cowboy hat's gone uh, but they have made it in and closed the door and you hear one last thump, and then banging and banging as well um, Mina you were look, trying to hear where the most of the chaos was coming from I'm going to have you do a let's do intellect alertness Basically, trying to trying to discern which part of the building based on the sounds you're hearing. That's a twenty. <laughs> Incredible. Um, oh, also for those crits, for I think Aki had two, and then now with this one, uh, you reduce your stress by one. Um, yeah. So you you can tell basically you've got you can tell like it's coming from further down the halls but you're at a, sort of a different end of the building but you can kind of tell which direction like if you just stay on this main hallway you'll probably run into them um and and you start running currently you have made it out of most of the danger you can hear the one or however many corrupted behind you still trying to bang to get through that door uh but we're going to jump back over to Lane and Siobhan you have put some separation between you um, we never got to the little Saiyan squid's turn uh, and so they are going to we need to go. yes yes we do um, but yeah so mostly what they're going to do is just sort of run in your direction uh, and try and mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah, at this point, it's just a chase. I think that I will just use... I'm going to roll a d20. Um, low numbers is going to be Ferris. High numbers will be Aubrey. Uh, okay. Uh, so it runs in your direction, and... Elaine, you... As you're, like, running and trying to get set up to get um, your other weapon... 
you can feel it like basically just like swinging wildly and it, it backhands um, against uh, your neck and you feel like there's this moment of dizziness as it like hits hits your artery and you start to like you phase out of like you could have blacked out and just then uh, thankfully you didn't but you're going to take one point of, of HP damage uh, what is your HP at right now? great question I think you've taken two, if I remember correctly, no, or was it one and one? Any, I haven't taken any. Okay, yeah. So each of you have taken one. What's your vitality score? I can just tell you. I have I have um, sixteen HP up until this moment. Now I have fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. And Our vitality is is three. Is same, fifteen, Aubrey. Ah, uh, I have eleven. Mine is, okay. is, I had 12 until I took the yeah. damage earlier. So similarly to when um, you are taking more stress and you reach certain points, if you get below 8 HP, you're going to start taking penalties as well, just for being basically massively wounded. Um, but yeah, it has caught up uh, and it is still trying to get to you. It is now your turn. And again, you can see the other two big ones, uh, or you can see the rather the the mega squid um, pulling itself through the, the hallway as well. Is it just the mega squid? Further back. The mega squid is very okay. far at this point, oh. but the, yeah, but the, okay. the Saiyan squid is still in your face. Saiyan squid, <laughs> mega squid. I yeah, got yeah. them confused. <laughs> I know. <sighs> yeah. Oh god, I think my mainly thing is run. Run. Uh, running. Uh, running. Yeah, do you want to try more obstacles or are you just going to run? I mean, that obstacle was was risky and I uh, I don't know. Um yeah, it's just, mostly it's... There's not like um as far as we can recall, we're like in the center of the facility. It's not like if we try to break into a room, we'll be on an exterior wall and we can crash through a window kind of vibes, right? Uh, you can do, you can roll for it and see what you think of that. Okay, I guess I'll try so that. Let, yeah, let's do, uh, let's do judgment. Um, let's do judgment survival. Again, just trying to like see like as you're inside, how well can you get your bearings, um, and what do you remember from the outside of the, of the building? I don't like this dice anymore. Neither does my cat. She just stole it. Um, that was a three though. Wait, but plus nine, so that's stop stealing my dice. Um, twelve. Twelve. Okay, that's much better than a three. Uh, yeah. So you're still gonna. It's partial success. So you're still gonna take. Um, if you were still going to take one stress for that, uh, and I think you you can see that there are two. Basically, as you're running, you can see there's two doors that are like turning or to your right, and then there, the main hallway is going to turn to your left. You think that possibly one of those two doors can get you to an outside window, um, but you're not sure which one. And I think at this point, uh, Siobhan was the one that was sort of leading because she knew which direction was the way to get out. Um, so you're you're a little bit behind, but that's that's what you're thinking. Like, you know, I can we can try for one of these two doors, but you don't know exactly which one is going to be the safest option. 50 50 shot. No time mm. to make it. Um, I'm. I don't think we don't have the impression that we can outrun these suckers based off of what we have been experiencing up until this moment. Yeah, no, they're they're all incredibly fast. Um, and from what you've seen, like because you have experience with just corrupted in general over the past five years, they will run forever. forever. Like they, yeah, <laughs> they don't tire the way that you tire. Um, they don't feel pain the way that you feel pain. Like they don't. Who cares about lactic acid when you're filled with godly corrupted so uh yeah you're yep. <laughs> you're in trouble um, yeah outrunning them is is usually not a great option i think she's gotta pick uh the door on the left um okay. 
You said that it was left and right, right? There's two on the there's two on the right, I should say, and then there's the the main hallway to the left. So you you can pick basically door one or door two. Uh, door one. Okay. Uh, because worst case scenario, we can at least try to barricade the door and buy ourselves some time that way. Are you telling Siobhan? Uh, yeah. Because yeah. they, yeah, she's in front of you, so. Yeah, I think I'll kind of grab her shoulder, um, like okay. her coat, and pull as I run towards the door and barrel into it. And if there's not more inside, let me just be where they keep them. Okay. <laughs> Luck is just a d20? Just a d20 straight up, yeah. Come on, d20, treat me nice. That's not nice. It's a nine. Okay. So you <laughs> you turn and you grab Siobhan and you run to this door. And I think, like, you fully expect to just, like, yeah, I'm going to break through this door. We're going to break out of this window. Everything's going to be good. Um and you you turn and you go to open it and the door is locked and i think that this creature that was doing these little pitter patter steps that were very fast and creepy just jumps at you and is going to grab on to uh elaine and tackle you to the ground um and i will you are going to be compromised. Um, this thing is on top of you. But uh, I will let it go to your turn. And I will say, as this has been going on, you, our other two, uh, Sabrina and Mina, you can see far, far down the hallway. Um, the never-ending the, hallway. The never end, it's, yeah, it's a big facility. You can see basically uh the sort of the back um half of of uh siobhan being sort of pushed back and you hear the yelling of your two partners um fighting something and you can see like flicks of this little black tendril uh through like the hallway corner but you're running in that direction it's just going to take a little bit of time to get there uh but right now elaine what are you doing to save your life um, am I able to unholster my axe? Uh, you can certainly try. Let's do a. <laughs> uh, or you're? I'm assuming you're at ten or eleven stress now. What's your stress? Um, at? let's see. Here. Nine. Four, eight. Eight. I'm just under twelve. I think. Okay, so at eleven then. Yeah, I think it's eleven. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is going to be an, hmm, just to try to get it out. I think this is going to be agility unarmed combat, just to try to fight your way to get to even holding on to your axe. Well, one of those things is good. <laughs> I will also be striking this thing when it comes to my turn. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm mostly doing the whole, you know, when you put a stick in a bear when you're fighting it off vibes <laughs> or a shark or fill in the blank. Yeah, yeah. Ha ah, This dice likes me. So that's going to be an 18 on the die plus my unarmed combat. That's going to be a 22. Nice. So reduce that's your stress by one. Yay. Very important. Um, yeah, so I think you're just able, like, the maybe the way you fell, you're able to reach back and grab it, and you can go ahead and pull it out, and you can um, eat now with the, your turn still try to uh, do an attack. Also, because you are in the compromised condition, um, and you... Uh, had a crit success you are going to you're out of the compromised condition for the moment this thing is still on top of you to be clear um you still have to do stuff to not fall into that condition again but if, for the moment you are out of that condition which is good because that means if you fail this roll or whatever other consequences don't happen so okay uh and you said i can try to make an attack then yeah yeah so just uh do agility and um, or brawn, we can do brawn, uh, brawn and uh, melee weapons. Fourteen. 
uh, partial success. Um, so this will just be half damage, which, you know, you're underneath it. It's fighting you. It's trying to, like, you feel the tendrils around your face. It's just so hard to get a good swing in. Um, and then, yeah, Aubrey, if you want to go ahead and prime up what you're going to do. I, I've got that. I've got that hatchet in my hand. I'm just going to just bring it down on the, whatever this, this thing looks to be this thing's head. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, you know, try to hack at these tentacles. Do I roll okay. damage? Sorry. E- yeah, damage is what I'm waiting for. Then it would be eight. Minus, or that's the full damage, so uh, yeah. four? Okay. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that's a good point. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. So you have a plus four to it or plus three? Yeah, I have a plus four. Okay. And you rolled an eight on the die, so yeah, it'll be four yes. damage. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then, uh, Aubrey, did you, uh, what did you roll for your attack? Oh, I was, oh, uh, oh sorry, you know uh, what, yeah, what? Bron, sorry, Bron, Bron melee weapons as well. Oh. Okay, that is a 19 on the dice for two plus two for 21. Nice. Reduce your stress by one. Um, yeah, and that's critical, so that's gonna be double damage. Oh, uh, that is the three, so that's a d8. My, my... Mm-hmm. Can axes. Yes. Cool. Um, that is a seven on the dice for 14 damage. Yeah. So you see, uh, basically, I imagine somebody you call a friend, right? Somebody you've been traveling with for a long time. They are about to get um, annihilated with this thing. They're underneath it. You can barely even see uh, Elaine at this point because of all these tendrils flying around, and this thing is just constantly moving and wailing and flailing. Um, so yeah, how do you how do you end that? I, uh, you know, sort of thinking back to everything and you know, kill the brain, kill the ghoul, whatever mm-hmm. the frig it is. Um, and it, it essentially is, yeah, it is just like, okay, you know, I hope this is the brain. No, this is the right spot of the brain. Just right in there with one quick hit. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and you smash down on it. And I think like Elena, as you're looking up and trying to fight back, you see that these tendrils that were whipping around just suck into its face it has the shape of the human it used to be before and it falls to the ground and i think more than you've seen all of this excess corruption just starts to leak out and pool across the floor next to you um and but you are able to get it off of you and get up at this point and hands you know get up and as i as get up pull you into like let's go yeah yeah, probably will. I'll let that happen. Yeah. And last look down the hallway shows you that this mega squid is halfway to you at this point. You can also see behind it um, the that like primal juggernaut that's just like climbing and jumping around and pulling onto stuff and ripping its hand through the wall. And it is trying to get past this mega squid to get to you. You can hear more whales behind it. Um, as you're getting up and moving, you can see your partners uh, closing the distance as well from the other side um, as you start to run together. And and you are able to basically reconnect um, as with Cowboy in tow as well. It's bad. bad. We're running. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you meet together. Uh, do you do you all say anything? Do you do anything? I would say you, you do have some time. Like, just, just yeah. <laughs> hasty. Oh my gosh. I'm alive. You're alive. Great. Kiss, kiss. Let's go. <laughs> I think that way, but nothing like what's following you. Oh, it's worse than that. <laughs> you don't want to see it, but any 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 exit plan? Can I roll planning? <laughs> sure. This is my job, running This is your away. moment. <laughs> <laughs> that door is locked. <laughs> Don't go through that one. Yeah. I, well, I think what I will do um, I- instead is just just because um, it makes a little bit stables. more sense. Uh, <laughs> we to, can ride out of here um, on horses. <laughs> it makes a, I know, but first we got to get to the horses that are hopefully yeah. not half eaten. Um, hopefully. The, the last thing we want is a demon horse because the true demon horse master 
isn't here. I am here. Yeah. But my girl Andromeda is not here, and she can't oh. tame though that many <laughs> uh, demon horses. And for 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 Navarra and Alyssa and the viewers, this I'm referencing a home game in which I got a demon horse with tentacles and teeth. And arms. Nice. And I arms. got extra arms. I this love it. I made awesome. that bitch Josephine. Like, it was great. <laughs> she ate people, but, like, that was normal. Yeah. <laughs> my, oh. ate my canonical partner, too. Like, that was, <laughs> like, yeah. for, like, in one reality. It was, it was weird. Um, okay, now I have a question. Uh, not a question. Yeah. I have a statement. Um, <laughs> so... What I think I'll do, what I think I makes the, makes the most sense thematically before I just start spewing out random shit, is um, to roll the you know judgment planning whatever, and have um, you uh, Navar send like uh, what do you call it? Give me suggestions. Yeah, yeah. What do, because first. I I'm pretty sure I will suggest something um, that is incorrect. Uh, for the current layout, uh, okay. because the thing I have planned, I know is one hundred percent incorrect. We're gonna die, <laughs> so I don't want to do it. I'm okay. not. I keep thinking I'm Glenn from The Walking Dead, but I'm not. I just miss him. That's the real difference. <laughs> There's only one Glenn. Mm -hmm. um, okay, yeah, go ahead and do. So yeah, we'll just do the same thing. It'll be judgment and uh, planning. Which, again, for the listeners, um, planning is Aki's other skill. Yeah. This was a skill I chose to have instead of upping yeah. the ones that I should have, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's my time, right? It's my yeah. time. 25. It is your time. It's my time. Um, okay. Do you... Does Sabrina just want to get out? Um, I think um, I think in this moment, um, Sabrina only really has one thought, and it is to escape. So we, I want to get out of the facility, though I do not know every single room in the yeah, facility. Yeah. And I know that our way out, which is objectively the quickest, mm -hmm. has a bunch of corrupted as well so that's a no-go and then technically down the hall is also a no-go because there's some big bitch and like squilliam uh <laughs> like all over there so like can't do yeah squilliam fancy son you know can't yeah, do that um <laughs> so that means like I'm, uh that there's other ways other hopefully ways to run in that's probably either further in or further whatever so i think um getting out of the facility is makes the most makes the most sense but I would also take, um, like, super stall, like, if I blew it up, right? I would take that, because that's okay. a stall, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my other, and I don't think they're attracted to noise, per se. My other idea was to grab my crank radio, crank that shit up, and then toss it like a football in a direction. And have the the corrupted go wee, but that's that that also I don't think would work too well since we are like five people, mm -hmm. and one of us is trigger happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think what you because basically like I think what, how this works is Sabrina is like constantly looking at stuff of how you could fit those pieces together. Um, it could also real... just be like a fucking map as well, <laughs> yeah. like on the wall. I saw it once like and went, I got yeah. it. Fire yeah. <laughs> it's like um, you are here, and I was like, and there's two squares that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I'll say I'll say how this works is like you similar to what like Elaine was trying to do you you've looked at the layout of the outside of this building and you understand like you remember there's okay here's just like this conference room and as you're looking like okay we could probably break out of this glass in this room you see that there is sort of this um, gas piping that's running along the wall up and then into the drop ceiling and and going somewhere um so this might not work in real life but it's going to work in our game you 
think that the best plan for you would be we go through this door and before we go through the store somebody shoots that gas pipe and starts basically a sort of like flamethrower that's going to cut off the pass uh to get to us okay okay um one i think the best way to extra bullshit this is that is that sabrina was a level designer <laughs> before the <laughs> yes. world went to shit. Yeah. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay? I love it. Um, two. Two. I think, um, I think objectively we are a little bit too much in a hurry and like the uh, cowboy is hurt mm-hmm. um, and um, Elena, we just saw what happened so I, I that's, that's two out of three. And in my opinion, that was two of our best shots out of three because my wife uses a bow and arrow and that is just again. too much wind up. You're not fucking Aloy. Um, I don't even think we, the second game didn't even come out yet. We just saw the first one and we were enamored and that was it, yeah. okay? That year for Comic-Con, we were planning a cosplay, didn't work out. Um, <laughs> that shit aside, there's drawback. A gun is way faster. Um, mm. And Nina is on Elena. So I think what will happen is I'm going to tell everyone we get her go that way and I'll be the one to shoot. Incredible. <laughs> I, have, I have handguns. Yeah. Uh, so good. Um, okay. But would you let me use judgment? To shoot the it? Shot? Yes, because it needs to be precise shot at precise timing. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I'll let you do that. Um, okay. So does everybody cooperate? Yeah, of course. They just my okay. wife. I, I trust her implicitly. Okay. Yeah, of course. If she gets left behind, it's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what's behind door number two at this point. Yeah. Okay. It can't be yeah. worse than door one. <laughs> um... Okay, yeah, you, the three of you run in, you can see Cowboy, like, at the door, basically giving you, providing you cover, um, as this mega squid starts to pull through, and I think, so, Sabrina's seeing this for the first time, you see, like, this mass of, of tendrils, like, eight feet high, reaching down to the ground, just pulling this thing along, um, and it's collected, yeah, it's it's got these two scientists that are still collected that it's like as it turns the hallway, it releases them. And I think based on the time, like you see their bodies start to twitch and get up as well. Um go ahead and roll me this shot. Um, I'm gonna so can I use I can use judgment and I'm assuming I can use handguns. Yeah, judgment handguns for this. Thank you. What is that? What is that for me, actually? Dirty 20, yeah. Wait, do you have zero Dirty stress, times? I'm assuming, at this point? Yeah, I'm not stressed out at all. <laughs> I think, uh, I think, got I think it. I've, uh, I think I'm channeling something here. Maybe I'm channeling the fact that I was right and I feel really good about myself. Yeah. Um, I could also, ju- it could also just be pure adrenaline. Um, mm-hmm. And maybe, like, when we're, when we're out, of dodge, I'll take like ten stress all at once. <laughs> you know, like yeah. you one put of those the stress things. off to take later. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe that's what's happening. We could, we could, we could chalk it up to adrenaline and being right. Um, <laughs> but also, being right means oh fuck, I was right, and we yeah. might like you know get more into more shit uh, on the way out. Incredible. Um. So yeah, you you roll wasted bullets, please. Uh, what's your handgun score? My handgun score is four. Yeah, plus four to that. Yeah, that's like <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm, I'm on purpose trying to yeah. use my best. No, 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 yeah, you're just well. good. Uh, I just want to confirm. Um, so that's going to be a D four of how many shots you take to get it. Two. Okay. So yeah, you do these two shots. Um, you can see the gas spew out and it catch flame from the spark. Uh. A cowboy gives you an appraising look, uh, tips her hat, and and her ushers you through the door. <laughs> oh yeah, tips their hat. They go to tip their hat, and the hat's gone. And you could the tipping hurts the back of their head. Uh, and he 
he winces um, and says, fuck it, just just go. Um, you all get into the room. You're in this large conference room now. You can hear the sound of the flaming gas on the other side of the wall. Um, you can hear the crashing of the building and the klaxon of the alarm. Everything is, is this mass concophony of sound. So, but yes, you see the glass. You can see that the glass leads out towards the main entrance, like of the actual gated part. Um, and now you just got to break through it. Canonically, mm-hmm. uh, I stumbled out of bed and had a sheet wrapped around my like shoulders. Sure. Yeah. Can yeah. I, can I just like, no. Yeah. How thick does the glass look? Um, this is a corporate building, so I'm gonna say it's like two panes of of quarter inch glass, um, but it's insulated, so it's got like a pane and a pane, and then a spacer in between. Okay, this is that's... Navar's construction knowledge coming to doom you again, corrupted players. <laughs> Okay, that seems too thick to attempt to jump through. So Basically, I you have to break it twice, essentially. Yeah. So I have a rifle and zero ammo. So I'm just gonna like hit it as hard as I can with the rifle. Okay. Knock out of pain. So I was also wrong. just going to try to grab a chair and throw it through. Sure. Yeah. Everybody can. Yeah. So the, uh, for Alyssa, that's gonna be brawn and melee weapons because we're using it as a melee weapon. Uh, and then same thing actually for Aubrey, uh, Bron Melee. Is it just the um, the fire keeping our friends at bay behind us, or is there a door as well? There is a door as well. You're not sure how successful the fire is at this point. So I might start dragging like the table in front of the cat in front of the the door. In front of the cat, yes. Um, can I? <laughs> Could I try something with the door as well? Uh, yeah, before the table gets there. No, the table can go there. I want to see, like, I'm assuming... Okay, but actually, I shouldn't assume. No, I should, because this is a government facility, and there, the bit, things were... this It automatically got shut down, essentially, it, like, remotely. It's a corporate so, like, facility, a, to be clear, but yeah. It's a corporate facility. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Um, <laughs> ah, yeah. So, for it... Oh, is the door like automatic in some way like can I like could I like let's say let's I don't know fudge with like a keypad or something and just break it so that way it stays locked because mm. I'm under the the oh, I'm under the impression that since it's locked outside uh-huh. that it could be because it is electronic in some way yeah, so this is a different door than like the main entrance. This is an interior door to a conference room. So it wouldn't have it wouldn't have any kind of like electronic auxiliary lock, I don't think. Um And again, be, just like based on the type of room, it, the door opened out into the okay. hallway. So, okay, okay. yeah, I think you'd be fun. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, then does it have one of those little class thingies that you just upwards, you know? No, definitely not. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. If, just, like, if you work for a corporation that had a <laughs> slide latch uh, on its conference room, quit immediately. Right? <laughs> um, so, I no, so okay. I, I think what I'll do instead is I will waste, it's not really a waste as long as this guy lives for a little bit longer. Um, I'll, 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 I'll apply some me- medicinal shit on, um, on, okay. on Cowboy. But yeah. I, I also want to check where Cowboy got hurt, um, because, like, I don't know if I see, like, I don't know, like a cut along the mouth and it, you know, infected mm-hmm. through that mm-hmm. way. Um, mm-hmm. then I'm gonna just be like, well, your days are over, sir. You know, like... Mm-hmm. He's only you need really your last haw. Yeah. Yeah. Eat your last haw. You know, like all that <laughs> kind of stuff. Yeah. But if, if not, then um, I rather they're not bleeding out <laughs> mm-hmm. while we're trying to escape. And then if they want to go guns blazing while we escape, that's fine too. If they want to chill with us some more, I'd rather have the person who is. I'd rather yeah. have bait with pistol arms, you know? I'd rather have guns akimbo over here than fucking anyone. <laughs> than, 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 I don't know. 
Okay. A strange scientist. Yeah, let me see how um, Alyssa and Aubrey rolled first. I got a hot five. Okay. I did much better with a 16. Okay. So we have uh, a fail. I think, yeah, you go to bash it, and I think the the stock just, like, reverberates, and it your hand gets a... it like basically like it, it hits your hand and it does not feel good. Um, you are going to take two stress. What's your stress at now? Six. Oh, did you hit four in this session? I hit four last session and then okay. I've been like going up and down a little gotcha. bit this session. Okay. Um, okay. Incredible. So yeah, you're at six. So yeah, that doesn't work. And then you see, <laughs> and then you see Siobhan just grab a chair and smash and you break in through one glass but there's the exterior glass still that needs to be broken um, Elaine give me a brawn athletics to move the table over to block the door as you're doing that and as uh, our other two are still attempting to try to break through the rest of the glass um, 16 Aki, okay yeah, so you start to move it, and you're able to get it over there. Um, Aki, you walk over with your medical supplies, and you go to check. I need you to give me a judgment uh, first aid to see. This is just to see how well you can assess the injuries that Cowboy has. And you're muted. Okay. Yeah, I need Okay, um, that's actually not so bad. Um, judgment, best stat. Um, that would be 17. Okay. So, yeah, so you are looking them over. You can see, like, where they're holding their head. Uh, their hand has a little bit of blood from just getting smacked into the back of a door. Um, they do have a, a bunch of other cuts and bruises. Um, and as they're lifting their head, you can see, like, a tear in the the back of their shirt on their tricep um and as you like pull it to the side you can see that indeed cowboy was bit on their tricep we can get infected by bites this time or no because i i know there was some i know it it goes into through the mouth Mm -hmm. do give me a luck roll to see if you've ever encountered somebody getting bit a luck roll? Mm-hmm. So just basically just do a d20 flat. Yeah, I was, I was going to be like, have we done this before? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, that would be, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I had a different app open for like a hot second. Yeah, you're that fine. Would be, that would be like a 12. 12. So I would say you've, hmm, yeah, you've seen somebody get bit before. Um, and they did not change. And you can see, like, as you look at it, uh, Cowboy, like, pulls his arm away, and he's like, we don't have to worry about that, right? Just bandage it. We'll, I'll be fine. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to turn. No, I think you're, I think, I think you're, uh, you're crazy enough where if, if you, if you would, if, if you did get bit and you knew you were going to, I'm doing that, I'm, like, talking while I'm bandaging yeah. it. So I go, I think you're crazy enough where if you did get bit and you knew you were going to turn, you just you just shoot yourself, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. go out in a blaze of glory. Like, I'm not, I'm not being gentle. I do not have the gentle hands of my wife. I am, mm-hmm. <laughs> I am fury incarnate and 5'2". So yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm done. I like slap him. <laughs> I'm like I'm like you're alive, <laughs> and I slap him in the wound, <laughs> and, and, and that kind of stuff. You get very tough love for yeah. me. Give me you're my uh, wife. yeah. Get, let's see how well the healing works. So give me an intellect and first aid to heal. I'm gonna let you know right now. That's a twenty on the die. So I don't think you need me to add, but if you really no. want me to add, I can add. No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, it works. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have, um, is Mina trying again after the first one didn't work? Uh, I think Mina will see the chair work and go and grab a chair and try that instead. <laughs> okay, yeah, both of you give me another um, sh- brawn uh, melee weapons. 
to try to break the rest of the glass. And I think as you get the table in place, Elaine, you hear the sound of like pained screaming uh, coming from the hallway. You hear the crashing of the wall um, next to you and it thump and you hear um, another basically like another bang and you can start to see that inside the wall is the the speed rock is starting to bust and you can see like a hand slowly breaking through the sheetrock wall uh, just to basically get avoid getting it into the fire. Um, is the hand actually through the wall? Is it in chopping point, range? Um, yeah, I would say at this point it's starting to break through it. And let's see what the uh, what the glass breaking rolls were. Uh, same as before. Uh, sixteen. Uh, when the, the same same ad as in before. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Uh, Bron uh, and uh, melee weapons. Bron and melee. Yep. Yeah. Um, that is a dirty twenty for me. Awesome. My my dice are actually like liking me tonight, so it's like <laughs> <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> and Alyssa. Just uh, for that's fun. That's nine, which brings me up to eight stress. Navar, you're welcome. Incredible. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> I think that you go to break it. Siobhan breaks the glass, but you your stress is rising. And so same thing on an eight, you're going to overcompensate. So there's nothing necessary there there really isn't much for you to to attack in this instance you can hear the thing behind you uh, but I'm not going to make you go back and attack that because I just don't think it makes narrative sense so I'm curious like what does this overcompensation look like for you this glass is broken now you have an open window uh, but the stress and the frustration have all sort of hit yeah I think that the overcompensation is just waiting to be the last one out rather than jumping immediately now that the window is open hmm Okay, I'm going to give uh, Elaine a chance to attack this arm because it sounds like that's something Ferris wanted to do and then we can resolve that. But yeah, uh, for the other two, you can see the windows now open. Um, you, It's it's not like going to be like a drop down or anything. You're literally like it's sort of climbing a short wall and getting outside and trying not to get cut. Can I make an argument for judgment and melee weapons because I would have to time it for when the arm comes through the wall. I accept. Yay! And for Yay. everybody trying to climb out the window, give me an agility athletics. You see, you see my face. You see how I'm yes. making face. Seventeen. Yeah. Attack. Okay. Roll damage on that. Yeah. So the arm blast through and it's breaking down more of the sheetrock um and yeah you time it perfectly uh, 10 10 damage uh and, and you are yeah perfect um you cleave this arm off and it pulls back and i think you hear the other arm start to break into the wall uh, as you do it. Uh, so you definitely do a ton of damage, but it's uh, this thing is souped up on something. Um, and you see now the, the windows open. Uh, you see Mina like ushering you to jump out. Um, yeah, everybody give me their their agility uh, athletics rolls. Mm. Uh, um. Well, I had a natural 20 on my dice. Uh, then plus it was a uh, uh, agility or uh, agility athletics. So yes. This is 26 for me. Incredible. Yeah. Reduce your stress again. Um, you jump out easy. Uh, partial success. I think that um, 
Sabrina starts to climb out and you slip on a little bit of piece of glass and it's like mostly superficial wound, uh, but you've definitely cut your hand. Um, not to the point where you're taking like HP, but it's like just annoying and you have to try to climb out carefully. And I think easily with the, with the, uh, critical success, um, Siobhan is able to help you get out the rest of the way. Uh, does Elaine listen to Mina ushering her out? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. What did you roll on your agility athletics? Eight. Eight. <laughs> ah, a fail. Um, so <laughs> I'm pretty hmm. sure that also... Hold on. Yeah, that's gonna bump me over Would another threshold. In incredible uh <laughs> the only thing i can it. roll is damage that is it everything else is <laughs> doom okay. city yes so you when you hit 12 that gives you condition three which is push against your better judgment you attempt to push through or out of a situation leaving yourself exposed um i get a, an immediate minor threat move against you in combat in the nerve situation how do you push yourself out of the events you're dealing with so i think i think what we'll do then is that you you see it you see that siobhan and sabrina have made it out and sabrina had some trouble you see mina ushering you out you see cowboy run and jump um and clear it pretty easily and i think all this like waiting and 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 anticipating you just have your back turned and you're just too close to the wall and this arm reaches through and it feels almost like clawed fingers are just going to rake down your back. You're going to take one HP of damage um, and you have to attempt to get out again. Mina, you see this happen uh, to Elaine um, and and she's just not able to get to the to the window just yet. Yeah, and I mean, I was waiting and ushering, so I am absolutely running over there and going to attempt to like kick the, le- the arm away from her body. Okay. Yeah. Give me a, uh, let's do, I think same thing, judgment, um, unarmed combat to try and basically aim it correctly and, and get this thing out of your way. Uh, what are Siobhan and Sabrina doing? You made it out the window. Cowboys made it out the window. You can see your partners, your friends, I should say, uh, in, inside the building still fighting to try to get away. Um, I want to figure out, like, what's the situation like out here? Is it out here? Is out here just devolved into complete, utter panic? Outside, it there's more. You see the residents of these barracks are mm. lo- getting into trucks, getting into cars, yep. driving out, mm. and they are speeding out and just, like, busting through the gate. The guards yeah. are not anywhere need to be seen. You assume they're inside trying to handle things Mm. Uh, but the alarm out here is loud very very loud um i want to turn towards sabrina and say go get the trunk the truck ready i'll be right behind you so sabrina was already was already thinking i will get the truck ready but she doesn't like the fact that it's that and then um, I was trying to make sure that our other two companions get out all right yeah I know but there's that you know there's that thought right mm-hmm. that's, yeah, they're, they're at least they'll die together you know like that's <laughs> that's that idea um and and I think what what um Sabrina will do is to pause for like two seconds and give you like a nod and then and then like give you like a really quick kiss like we ain't do this is not a fucking movie you're not mm. gonna get a movie kiss but you're gonna get yeah. a quick one just in case because just in case it's not gonna happen <laughs> but just in case you know mm. and then um so Bruno will be like i will be right fucking back and mm. i go as fast as my little five two legs can yeah, i say I little pull- that's bigger than my legs already. <laughs> I, uh, I'll pull my crossbow off, like load it and everything. I'm like, I will shoot anything that is not the the my two friends. Yeah, um, yeah. Right now, uh, what is uh, what did Mina roll for that attack? Twenty seven. 
Okay, yeah. Jesus. Uh, so give me some. Day. Yeah, give me a a uh, unarmed damage or unarmed combat damage roll. What's your unarmed combat? My unarmed combat is plus five. Oh shit! Okay, so yeah, D twelve. Uh, I love my girlfriend. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think in a similar vein, like maybe you you start to go to kick at it, and you can see like it's just moving so much. So you just grab it, and, and you clearly you have experience in fighting. And I think like the arm pushes through all the way past the elbow, and you just grab towards the wrist and just snap uh, against the against the elbow, and the arm sort of falls um, limply and slithers. I mean, and slithers back through the hole of the uh, of the wall, and I think that there's just a moment of like, cool, we did it, uh, we got to get out of here. But uh, Elaine did roll a failure, which gave me more GM points to use. And so, um, as this thing is trying to break down the opening, and you've broken its arm, you hear the sound of. Of feet sliding, and you see these tendrils reach through, and it is going to grapple uh, Elaine around, um, like right around your chin and underneath an arm, and pull you back against the wall. These tendrils from the uh, mega squid are starting to grab at you now. Uh, you are grappled again, uh, which means you're compromised again, um, and you can see Cowboy like out the window as you're like looking straight because you don't have any other choice um, trying to just find a shot uh, but yeah the the three of you plus cowboy need to determine how you're going to get Elena out of the situation now can I hand Mina my axe uh yeah, yeah you absolutely can Give me I can't use it right now I'm going to uh, yes. So, yes, you definitely can give Mina your axe. Um, I think that the that arm, your, I don't know if Elaine is right-handed, but the right arm is the one that I pictured being taken, but you can certainly, like, hand it over as best you can. Uh, yeah. yeah. That and is then, what she would like to do. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, Mina, uh, basically, it's time to just go to town to save her girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah, no, Mina will take the axe and use it on the uh, tendrils that have her arm to try and okay. get her into the game as well. Yeah, so basically, because of how close this is to uh, Elaine, you're going to do judgment um, melee weapons for this one. Judgment would have been better than Ron, but I rolled a natural one so far, so that's a total of five. Jesus. Jesus. No. Eric, don't say it's okay to take the honor. You said that before I said what I rolled. <laughs> oh my fucking god, you guys are actually gonna fucking die. I was joking. We came so close. <laughs> okay. So you crit fail. <laughs> uh, you are... That's three stress added. You are going to be compromised as well. And... Uh, and yeah, and I get more points. Um, Go ahead, you can take you, it. <laughs> I think as you go to swing, more of these tendrils reach out and grab you as well. And it grabs your arm and it grabs around your neck and just pulls you in. And you're smashed up against Elaine and it, and the two of you are just tangled up in this mess. Um, Siobhan, you see this from outside. Uh, you've got yep. your crossbow out. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, I see this in... Um, God, can... I was like, I, can I even shoot any of the things that's pinning them? You could try. I mean, it'd be... It's a bad situation to try. Uh, it's either Not, that or fail, I pull one you... of them out of their misery. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, you can definitely take a shot. 
if uh-huh. you miss, it's going to be bad for them. I'm just going to point them out. Yeah, look, honestly, if if I don't take a shot, you know, things are bad for them to start with. Things can only get better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go He's ahead and give me uh, same thing. Judgment. Um, uh, archery for this. Judgment archery. Cool. Cool. Um. Yeah, this is a 19 on the dice plus seven for a 26. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Who do, who do you think, because there's like four tendrils in play, who do you think are you trying to save in this moment? Um, God, I think Elaine probably looks the worst off. Okay. So it is, it, it is like that whatever tendril I think is like the main one holding Elaine. Uh, cause okay. like Elaine can get Mina out of there. Uh, I, at least I hope. Yeah. <laughs> and so I yeah. shoot that tendril. Okay. Give me damage and it's going to be times two. All right. Um, and so it's a, it's a, um, I have a plus five to my archery. What is that? Uh, plus five is going to be a D12. Cool. D12. Uh, and that is a six on the dice for a 12. 12. Okay, so I think what you do is that you shoot it in a way that it basically slices a part of it and it's able to just like pop that tendril off. Um, and I think then Elaine is able to help and just like grip and pull away at it. Um, ooh, Elaine, I'm going to give you basically, you are out of the, you're still grappled. Um, you're out of the compromised con- condition, but you're going to have to get out of the situation to avoid getting grappled again, because that's exactly what it's going to do at this point. Um, so, yeah, how do you finish getting yourself undone and and help Mina out? Um, I think I'm going to... Is there... Because uh, the conference room, there's just... The table that got moved, some chairs that went through a window. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Yeah, there's still tons of chairs because it's a conference room. Um, well, are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, the axe is still in Mina's hand, to be clear. It's just the hands pressed against the wall. Yeah, um, just just covering my bases. <laughs> uh, seeing if there's anything that would, like, these things are... It, is it just fire or is it fire and like cold? There's not like a fire extinguisher, is there? Um, hmm. I'm gonna say yes, just based on like how OSHA works. There's probably a fire extinguisher in there. <laughs> Would just based off my previous experiences with the corrupted, do I think a fire extinguisher would be um, a, a strong deterrent for them given the nature of fire extinguishers give me a luck roll to see if you've ever experienced it 15 okay uh what's your judgment five i'm pretty sure hold on plus five four it's four okay that's still high um hmm i will say You've never had any conclusive evidence to give you the idea that it would do anything. It's tempting, but you've never seen cold do anything uh, to the corrupted in a way that would make you feel super confident about this. Okay. Um, then lacking any evidence that would suggest anything, we're going to go to ye old faithful, which is steal the axe back from my girlfriend and choppy chop. Um, I guess we'll see how good this is, whether or not I can do, like, a swing and a pull. Like, swing the axe and pull the girlfriend, but... Yeah. Uh, famous last words, right? <laughs> That's That was the original Heroes model before they changed it to save the cheerleader, save the world. I do... do hate these dice. Every dice. Every mm-hmm. dice I have. All of them. <laughs> Bad. All of you. Fired. Oh, um, no. This is what, brawn and melee? Judgment, uh, melee weapon. Judgment. Too. Oh, much better. Um, judgment plus melee is going to give me a plus eight 
which will at least make this a 13. Hey, partial success, so roll damage. Uh, yeah. Um, so on a partial success, when somebody is compromised, Mina's going to get out of the compromised condition, but Mina has to lose something. You're going to lose something either tangible or abstract, and you're going to take one stress. Um, I rolled seven on the dice for damage. Okay, so that's going to drop it down to a four. Four? Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so what does, what does Mina lose? Mina was so excited about this compound, y'all. She was like, yes, finally, we can, like, get back to living life and... We'll still have to be fighting corrupted, but we come home to a safe place and a bed and a hot shower, and that's incredible. And the research they're doing is going to find a cure, and someday we're going to be back to normal fully. And all of this has just made her realize that, no, that was... A ridiculous dream, even running off to the woods to live in a cabin away from everyone, away from the corrupted with Elaine was a ridiculous dream and all that there's no like joy here. It's just survival. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and I think all of that starts to just weigh in as this thing is like uh gripping at you and you can feel uh Elaine doing her best to try and free you. Um, yeah, I think d- getting out of this position, we're just going to say basically Elaine, uh, who's already very strong, if I remember correctly, is just able to just pull you out. Um, and you can see, like, as you're getting pulled out, the the more of these tendrils are pulling through the wall and it's starting to rip everything from the side. You can see Cowboy, like, getting an angle and shooting past you um, to try and just do whatever he can to just keep it at bay as much as possible. Um, Not to be mean, but please give me another agility uh, athletics roll to get over this little wall. Um, And I think at this point, yeah, Sabrina, you make it back to the truck. Uh, Just been running full sprint uh, to get over there. Um, I'm I'm letting you know right now if I see a bitch trying to steal our truck, it's no on bitches side. trying to steal your truck. I promise. Yeah, like <laughs> run up to me and be like, "Can we get a ride?" And I'll think about it. But if they try <laughs> to steal our truck, I'm running with my handgun in my handgun hand. Yeah. No. More than anything, I think everybody that you see is just in their own, just trying to get out. Um, my real question to you is: Do you just grab the truck and go, or do you try to pack up stuff from inside? I think I do the world's quickest packing. Now, what is this, you ask? Um, this is, this is, um, to my best knowledge, this is an Asian family pre-packing three hours ahead of time for a flight that they have. It's so fast. Like, to be fair, my mom and I are way more organized than that. But also, when you need to take everything out of your bag to make sure you have everything in your bag, you don't know how fast we go. It's yeah. so perfect that when we take it out for for the stupid customs, we can take it back out fast and put it back in like it was nothing. And they're amazed. <laughs> I just want you to know that I deeply love you, but I <laughs> want you to fail at this role so bad. I know you do. Um, <laughs> I know you do. And, and you know, I sometimes I want you to have the things that you want. I say I sometimes because sometimes I don't want you to have yeah, it. For sure. But most of the time, I like 80% of the time for you, I want you to have those things. So what do I roll? Hmm, that's a great question. I mean, I also, uh, Siobhan probably didn't unpack because yeah. like uh, I yeah. have, it's I have my important stuff on me, but like everything else is probably still just in the bag. Yeah. I think, yeah. Objectively, I also don't think um, Elaine uh, really unpacked either. No. Yeah. You're a fucking yeah. ranger. I don't think you would. You would. The only one who really did was Mira, and I know it was just clothes. 
So, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this is going to be a I'm trying to decide on the ability. Uh, the skill is going to be survival, and I think the ability is going to be vitality. Just in that you have to, um, it's just like go, go, go. Um, and you just ran all the way over here. And so I think it's just how quickly can you do this while keeping up the pace? Uh, so vitality, survival. I'm going to let you know just for you, and obviously the audience, but just for you specifically, because I can see you and not them. <laughs> I'm doing this at a minus one, because I have a minus two to survival and a one to vitality, so it's minus nice. one. Okay. How does a solid 10 sound? Incredible. Mm-hmm. I will live with the 10 from an <laughs> Um Yes. No, uh, 10 is great. So that's a partial success. So you, I think you're just going and you're trying to grab as much stuff as possible. And I will say that... Hmm. I think that there's something you forget that you just don't know you forgot it right now but you're able to get things going fairly quickly you get back in the truck um and start heading back in that direction what what does elaine and mina roll for their agility athletics to get out of this room if you roll another one <laughs> you'll roll another one i'm leaving you behind <laughs> yeah. elaine you should go first again if they fail this again, not... it's like, well, oh, I well. tried. I got an 18. Okay, that's a success. No, yeah. I got, yeah, I got an 18, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's great. I rolled a nat one. No, so cool. total of six. Did you and really? I bet, yeah, I did. <laughs> I bet 13 stress oh, now. Really so I passed the guess. 12 threshold. This is wild. Um, wild. Okay. Wow. Uh, you're running. Uh, Elaine, I think you you are running. You, you pulled Mina out of the situation. You feel confident that you are good to go. You run. You jump over the wall. At this point, the wall is pretty much deteriorated. This thing is just raging now and ripping everything apart. Um, and I think... Mina, who is just like basically being choked by this thing, uh, you're having a hard time breathing. I think maybe y- everything that's going on, all the stress that's been building, has started to just sort of weigh on you, and your vision starts to go black a little bit of just like a lack of air. And you realize in this moment that you're hyperventilating. Um, and as you're moving a little bit slower, you take a pause at the uh, at the window. You can feel little pieces of glass like. Um, against your hand and you you sit back up and I had mentioned that there was a lot of other corrupted that you just that came from that room that you just didn't see uh, when Elaine and uh, Siobhan were in there and I think one of them runs through the wall and it tackles you um, and you both go flying over the wall uh, you're going to take a point of damage um, just from like getting hit and and the the glass in the window, uh, and you both roll out the window, um, and Elaine, as you land and you turn to look back to see Mina, you see her fall out. This thing is outside with you. You can see that there are more coming. Cowboy starts to shoot, uh, but right now Mina's on the ground um, and needs help, and. Uh, Siobhan, you you look to the side. You see this happen. You look to the side. You can see the truck starting to come around as well. Yeah. What what do you guys do? Okay. Because I passed the threshold of 12, which is push. Yes. Against your better judgment. So, yeah, I'm just going to read this again real quick. Against your better judgment, you attempt to push through or out of the situation, leaving yourself exposed. Uh, so I already did the minor threat move. Um, and yeah, how are you pushing? Yeah, go ahead. It's a lot of, it's not quite giving up, but it's almost giving up. And so Mina looks over towards Elaine and just chokes out. 
get to the car. No. Yeah, what does Elaine do? Runs back in to her. Uh, and... uh, so they are both outside now. They yeah, rolled runs through the over, window. Yeah, yeah, runs yeah, yeah. over um, and hacks away. Okay. Um, yeah, give me give me a brawn athletics or excuse me, brawn unarmed. I'm sorry, brawn. Jesus, brawn melee weapons roll for this. That's going to give me a uh, 20 something another. OK, yeah. Um, damage for this. Uh, Mina is out of the compromised condition. Seven. Seven. Seven on okay. the dice. Okay, so 14. Um, yeah, so you hack away, and exactly what you expected works. Um, you are able to end this thing. You can you grab Mina and get up. Sabrina peels out, comes around the side. Uh, I'm assuming you stop the truck and, and everybody does the jump in, or, or what's the what's, what's it look like, Aki, when Sabrina flies around this corner? Nope. We'll never know. It was too powerful. I'm still here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm still here. It was really cool. I'm still here. I'm going to make a meme out of this real Mm. quick. If you're on TikTok, I really hope you would have heard the sound. I'm in a Bugatti. Um, And it plays on my crank radio. Uh, As I (laughs) Tokyo drift my way in. Like, I think I make a nice sharp turn so that way I don't hit anybody um, who's probably running around. Um, and I back in, essentially, not into the, the, the room or anything, but I back in so that way y'all can ju- just jump in on the back if you have to, um, at the very least. And I just, my windows have been rolled down. Um, well, by windows, I mean just my window, because there's no way I'm, I'm rolling down all the windows at the same time. This yeah. is, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Last thing we need is like a, like a, like a, like a bird sized corrupted fuck that shit oh. <laughs> yeah, um, no i mean it's uh it would definitely would have been jump jump on the back like as soon yeah. as like yeah. you're there yeah i think what's i'm a... yelling get in yeah. that's for sure what's mina's health at uh it's at 15 okay, she's yeah. good so you, yeah uh physically you're good yeah um yeah yeah so yeah i think you're able to get up everybody's able to get in the truck I think you uh, do. You yell for cowboy to come. Who's just like, boo, boo, boo. yeah. No, I literally I yell, get in, everybody, get in, cowboy, get in if you want. Like it's it's like I'm gonna leave. Like it's literally like that kind of thing. <laughs> um, you see cowboy run out of bullets and put their guns into their pocket, and they pull out this big ass hunting knife, and one jumps out. They grab it stab it uh and they turn and look at you and they kind of give you that like mischievous smile they turn back and look at their semi which is like how they were making their living um and i think in that turn um that like wistful turn you see the mound of the uh mega squid it now visible through the glass and it just with multiple tendrils boom, 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 grabs cowboy and and pulls him in uh Rip. and he's just, yeah not able to get Rip. get to you um I just go fuck and uh the minute everybody <laughs> yeah, why? Can, uh, yeah. I'm out yeah um, this is why i kept you around <laughs> <laughs> yeah and yeah so you you are able to drive out you um basically hit the ground running you're out on the main road out to get to the freeway again and you can see as the alarm and everything else going on is going running through these fields that lead up to the uh to the fortress if you will uh are just dozens of corrupted some of them swerve off their path to try to get to the truck but you're just going too fast for them to intercept you um but yeah this is what once was a thriving sort of company structure slash community is now uh, falling to pieces. Um, 
and you are able to get back out on the road. So we have a couple things that we can do. We've all reached multiple different levels of stress. Uh, if you would like to, as a group, um, you can certainly do all of those narratively, or we can just kind of do an epilogue, whichever the um, y'all prefer. Or, or both, rather. I mean, but you, you, yeah, you can start with dealing with the stressful conversation, or you can just uh, do epilogues. I'm good to just sort of tie the stress maybe into the epilogue, but not yeah. do like separate conversations. Okay. I'm down for that too. Awesome. Yeah, then I will let y'all have it. Uh, I think in the back of the truck as we're driving away, um, I would imagine that, like, Sabrina and Siobhan are, like, maybe in the cab, and then... Oh, I thought um, it was in the bed of the truck as well. Yeah, I think oh, all the you can be in the uh, yeah. next year, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I think Elaine is just going to, like pull uh, Mina in very closely and say if you ever think that I would ever leave you, you are so wrong. You should have. It's you need, I need you to survive. It's not a life worth living without you. You're the and... only reason I make it through each day. Mina takes your hand and leans into you and looks up with you looks up at you with those like big sad eyes and just says you need to live for yourself because I'm not going to be able to be around the entire time Then if you go, I go. I'm following you wherever you go. Cabin in the woods, a nice compound. This truck forever. Wherever it is you're going, that's where I am. And I think she just exhales and squeezes your hand a little tighter and is too wrung out to cry but leans into your body yeah and she just holds you also just so much adrenaline just still like pumping through her and like wounds bleeding and just hangs onto you like you're the only solid surface left on earth <laughs> see this truck as having that like kind of like small like little thing you can pull open and uh, uh you know watching those two be all very sappy and stuff you know uh Javon goes over pulls it open and it's not like you can get fully through or anything you reach an arm through and uh you know I'm gonna sort of just reach through and put my arm, uh, my hand on Sabrina's shoulder and just sort of give it a good squeeze. Just the, I'm here, you know, we're okay. We'll have time later. We don't really want to stop right now. Mm -hmm. I think I, um, with zero stress, um, I just, I, uh, too. I know, but I'm at zero. I, <laughs> I, put, I, I put, like, my head a little bit, like, on Mm -hmm. on your arm and then um i i have my radio and i'll pass it to you and just be like can you just keep it can you just keep it cranked yeah yeah i can and yeah that's what I, as the reader drives just keep that radio cranked playing whatever it's playing yeah whatever station it can grab on to you know it's just playing Yeah, and I think like as you continue to drive and you get further away from the sound, you can no longer hear it. Um, and it kind of just goes back to what was before, a sort of eerily peaceful 
world interspersed with these basically undead people. Um, you see, you pass cabins, you pass uh, all of these houses and forest land and tobacco fields that have gone dry and you look for the next place to settle down. Maybe it is a cabin in the woods, maybe it's another city or a small town. Um, but I think, yeah, this is where our journey ends with this group. So uh, I just want to say thank you, the four of you. Uh, this has been uh, incredible. It's such a fun story uh, the, and such a wild end. Um, thank you for every crit fail. Uh, it makes my world go around. Uh <laughs> No, but genuinely, um, I I love you guys, and I love uh, that you gave me this opportunity to show off my game um, and to play with the four of you. Um, this has been an absolute blast. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. for letting us yeah. play it <laughs> with you. Like, yeah, <laughs> incredible. Yeah. Such a great game. Special Pride Month game. Yeah. yeah. And hey, you did. You we didn't, survived. You, yeah, we, we survived. And, and yeah. Nobody Very no gays. Except for Cowboy. Oh my God, and, oh, except for Cowboy. <laughs> the gay, yeah. I was saying, Cowboy's the gayest of us all. Oh actually. no, we continued the tradition. <laughs> oh, we buried him. Yeah. Oh, we buried that gay. Uh, yeah, I was going to let him live, but then I was like, ah, somebody's got to pay for all these nat ones. <laughs> Mina survived. <laughs> um, no, but genuinely, it was uh, this was a lot of fun to do and 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 to see like the choices that y'all made and and how it all turned out. And yeah, it, I I had a blast creating the story and creating these special uh, corrupted um, for the finale. So they were so scary. I love them. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this little pitter patter uh, Super Saiyan one. Um, scared me even describing it. So <laughs> the image in my head is truly terrifying because it's just you know the little Cartoon Network like Dexter, I think Dexter's mom. Yeah, but yeah. And like put like a black like a wet black sack over her head mm. that occasionally unleashes tentacles. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh. Of, yeah, I thought of um, um, I think oh, God Poppy's Playtime, the second chapter, the pink mm. um one, mommy, yeah. that one. I thought I thought of her the whole fucking time, and if you haven't seen her, just like look at her her entrance to the chapter because she's got so like her limbs are so long, mm. and when she chases you, it it I've shat myself, you know, like that's <laughs> the vibe I thought, and that's exact that's the whole thing I was picturing the whole time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well. Uh. I, I guess other than that, the, uh, other introductions. Just you know, buy the corrupted. That'd be cool. Um, there's the there's links to the game and, the, yeah. and all of the links down below. It's super yeah. easy. Just go down there, hit that link, buy the game. Do that stuff. Um, okay. Also, you can now go to plus one exp dot com and uh, look up the game, and you can save. Um, you can wishlist it so that when it does do the physical prints, you will get notified, um, so you can get in on that. So, oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, y'all. Thank you so much. Yes. See everybody next time. And fuck you, Craig. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, you in the facility. <laughs>